Legend of Dungeon, an indie roguelike action-y role-playing game. Uh, it's made by Robot Loves Kitty, who have also made Tiny Plumber, which I thought was a pretty decent game as well. Uh, Legend of Dungeon is on PC, Android, OS X, and today I'll be playing on Steam on the PC. I'll be also be using a gamepad. Even though you can use the, key the keyboard, I find the gamepad much more enjoyable, a lot easier to use. Uh, the game is up to four players couch co-op, so if you have others over, they'll probably be using the keyboard anyway. Um, about the game, as you can see, I am right now uh, a woman. You can be a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. You can go into the bathrooms like I did previously and change your outfits. Um, they don't do anything besides what you look like and what you're going to be looking at until you die. Um, there are a ton of items in the game that change the way you look uh, by your sword or weapon. I mean, um, the only problem is that there is a major problem, at least I think, as you have no idea what the hell most of the items do. Um, there are some potions in the game that can do all kinds of things from making your strength or defense go up or down to making you puke and get sick or even fall asleep for a while. Um, I ended up writing some of them down after I used them, so I recommend you do the same so that way you don't go through the pain twice. Um, you end up getting some cool gear, which is all random, and then you'll drink a potion that puts you to sleep. And then here comes a monster that respawned. And he just owned your bones. It's kind of not cool once in a while. Um, there's hats, like I said, in the game. that You can tell what they do just by looking at your stats in the bottom left. You can see there's a heart, a sword, a shield. Underneath the shield is your experience and then your gold. I don't know what the gold does just yet. I, I hear it's what you use to trade. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen that being used, so I have no idea. I can't comment on it. Um, some of the hats have some diet effects besides just your stats going up and down. Like you see, I have the rabbit hat on now, so I can jump really high. You don't know that unless you actually put the hat on and use it. So, like there's a miner's hat which has a, a light on it, which is uh, what you see in the dark. And there are dark dungeons, so it can help. Um, I just wish that there was a collective of the items so that you had an idea what they did. Um, you know, like if someone made a wiki of it, that'd be really neat. The, the game is fun in the fact that every time you play, though, you probably won't get the same items again. So that's kind of cool. Um, your goal in the game is to complete 26 levels, which change each time you play. So when you die, there's a new dungeon created for your next attempt. So if you enjoy roguelike games, this is going to be fun. The variety of monsters is pretty good. Uh, there are some bosses and some mini bosses throughout the game. And when you beat them, you are rewarded with a ton of experience and you feel like you've triumphed over evil. Um, there are a few enemies though that you fight, you have to fight in order to know what they do, which does suck because well, you're gonna die and you're gonna restart at level one. Uh, so when you feel that you have an amazing setup, don't get too attached to it because you're probably going to die. Um, and a little tip, uh, which you're going to see in the video is um, cats in this game are no joke. Don't mess with them. Um, the gameplay is really simple. There's a jump and swing your weapon button. That's it. You can change your sword to do. You can charge it to do more damage, uh, which is pretty useful when you see a larger monster. So you can kind of set up when you see something. You can set up before you go into fight before they see it. Uh, there's also some different weapons. Like I have the flame sword here. Before you saw the uh, large mace. Uh, the large mace has a longer range, does more damage. The flame sword is a shorter range, but actually is on fire. So it provides some light to a uh, darker dungeon, which is which is a nice little thing. You pick up those green balls. That's going to be your, uh, your XP. And that's the XP stat under there, too. I just leveled here, so you'll be able to tell uh, when you level up, which is like a cool little rainbow effect, too. Uh, leveling up just uh, increases your um, health damage and defense, which are your only three stats. Um, apples in this game become your best friend, as that is how you will heal mainly. Uh, yeah, it's only going to heal you for five HP at a time, which can be annoying, and there's a little delay before when you use it, so you're going to have to eat your apples one, one, one. If you just spam that button, you're not going to get the full effect. There are potions in the game which can heal you for more than 5 HP, but good luck finding them. Um, and also good luck on figuring out which they are. Uh, one little thing in the game is um, there are a few times that I felt that I hit a monster, but it didn't register. Or when they hit me and I don't think it should have. But 
this is a side scroller. You really can't do much about it. If you've played games before, you should be used to it. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. And I've never felt like gimped or gypped because of it. Because the enemy can hit you, you can also hit them. So it's it's really not a give or take. Uh, the game is pretty fun. Uh, I've been in it for about four hours so far, and I've gotten to level 21. But I have yet to see any cool magic or any of the shooting weapons that I've seen in other people's videos. So my entire game has been just swinging swords. At this point, I'm a little bored of that. But uh, I'm going to continue to play to hopefully see some of the newer stuff, like some magic items that you can get or like I, like I said I've seen people with guns so I'm going to keep playing to hopefully see those I do recommend the game to anyone who does like roguelike games also to those who are known as collectors because there are really there really is a ton of crap to pick up in this game uh, this is again this is Legend of Dungeon uh, it's worth picking up as I will be putting more hours into it and I do find it really enjoyable